Hi, everyone, and welcome to Volume 2, Episode 15 of The Talent Show, powered by T-Tech. I'm your host today, Monica Alvarez Cunningham. Every other Thursday at noon Eastern, we focus on T-Tech's most valuable asset, its talent. That is, the people who bring the skills, the drive, and the life to T-Tech. After all, people are at the heart of the T-Tech human experience elevated. That being said, let's hear a little bit from everyone out there. Drop a message in the comments. Let me know where you're tuning in from. I'm in Tampa, Florida. It's on the west coast of the state of Florida in the United States. Our headquarters is in Englewood, Colorado. In case you didn't know, that is a Denver suburb, also in the United States. And in case you also didn't know, T-Tech is a global company with over 50,000 employees worldwide. We have offices throughout uh, Europe, Middle East, Asia, and we also have offices in Canada, Mexico, and in South America. So please do let us know in the comments where you're joining us from. I see someone joining us from Mexico City. That's one of my favorite cities in the world. So thanks for joining us. We also have people joining us from North Carolina, the Philippines, Cocoa, Florida, Arkansas, North Carolina. Awesome. So people from all over the world, thank you for joining us today. Please continue to drop in the chat where you're joining us from. We're going to have another question for you coming up. So please keep an eye out for that one. Love to hear your thoughts on that one as well. Now, Today, we're going to talk about career growth here at T-Tech. T-Tech talent, it's probably one of my favorite things about T-Tech. It's our internal resource for career growth and learning and development. And we're going to meet two of the powerhouses behind the scenes who make learning their priority every day. Our first guest is Rhonda Roth. Rhonda is the executive director of learning and development on T-Tech's talent management team. In her role, she partners with performance and learning and development leaders to manage T-Tech talent, and they also craft and execute our company's global Building Great Careers talent management strategy. Our second guest is Barb McCabe. She's the executive director of talent management, where she leads initiatives that support performance management, succession planning, career mobility, and compliance training. Her team partners with learning and development to deliver on development strategies that build employee capabilities to accomplish business goals and strengthen employee morale, motivation, and loyalty. So let's bring them in. Hi. Good morning. So, good morning, good afternoon, good morning. and good evening to everyone around the world. Uh, so Rhonda, I'll start with you. I just scraped the surface on who you are and what T-Tech talent means to you. Would you please take a moment to share more about your T-Tech experience? Absolutely. Thank you, Monica. Hello, everyone. Uh, as Monica said, my name is Rhonda Roth. I'm the Executive Director of Talent Management here at T-Tech, and my team focuses on uh, learning and development. And a little bit more about my journey. Uh, it's been incredible here at T-Tech. Um, I started out here, well, wow, um, since I was a little girl <laughs> back in 2005. <laughs> and, um, and I started out as an instructional design project manager. And even at that time, it's amazing, our leaders, um, are so huge on making investments and providing opportunities and resources for employee development. And I took full advantage of those opportunities and resources. And within a relatively short period of time, I was able to expand my scope, my role and my responsibilities. And I took on a managerial role. I was managing our instructional design team. And then soon after that, I increased again and uh, moved into a senior manager role, managing our entire learning and development production team. And a few years after that, I was able to move into a, our director of learning and development position. Um, all of those super exciting and I loved every one of them. Uh, at some point, um, I'm not sure if everybody uh, is aware, but I'm a T-Tech boomerang. So at some point after that, I left T-Tech and um, and I loved it. I loved T-Tech so much. I couldn't stay away. I came back a few years later um, and I took on the role of executive director of learning and development. 
with responsibilities uh, for the global leadership development team, the same uh, learning and uh, development uh, production team that I had before I left. And I took on a new responsibility, exciting um, and challenging, which was the company's learning management system or LMS. And at the time it was uh, uh, Teletech University. Um, and uh, I, I, it, that was so, so fun and exciting. I have continued um, to manage uh, the, the learning aspect of our LMS platform. I think though, what I really love about what I do in my role here at TTAC is the team and I, um, we get to, uh, we can and we do on a daily basis, uh, really make a difference in our employees' lives and in their careers, helping them to, to really build great careers here, here at TTAC. And we can do that every day through the capabilities and the functionality and the resources provided through TTAC Talent. So that's, that's my journey. Monica. <laughs> well, I really appreciate you sharing that with us. Obviously, it must speak to T-Tech that you would, you know, you called yourself a boomerang, you came back. Uh, I love working here. So obviously a testament to how great of a place this is to be for employees. Now, Barb, thank you for being here today as well. I'd like the audience to get to know you better and learn more about your connection uh, to T-Tech Talent. But could you first talk about uh, your journey here at T-Tech? Sure. I, um, so I started similar to Rhonda. I'm not a boomerang. I've been here for almost, I'll have my 15 year anniversary uh, in November. I'm uh, based here in Colorado. I wanted uh, to work for an organization that was based here due to some, you know, previous careers where all of a sudden you needed to move or relocate uh, to a corporate office. And so T-Tech being here in Denver was um, a particular organization that I targeted uh, to make my next career journey. I started in the human capital and still remain in the human capital organization. Uh, but when I started, it was on what we call the engaged side. So really working very closely with our operational uh, partners. I had both our human capital and talent acquisition uh, focus. So spent a lot of time hiring a lot of people here in the US um, and Canada and really enjoyed that. I had expertise in uh, telecom and that was of interest to T-Tech back at, that, uh, at the time I was hired. Um, but I really had an interest in working to, um, within our human capital organization, what became very clear is we were a global company, but had really kind of disparate processes, disparate systems, and really had a huge opportunity uh, within human capital to create standards. So whether those standards were how we coached and managed our associates, how we managed performance uh, for um, individual employees, how we planned for career growth within the organization. And instead of, you know, hey, in the U.S. we did it this way and in Canada we do it that way and in the Philippines we do it another way is really to work to create those standards. And so I moved into what we call <clears throat> a center, <clears throat> excuse me, a center of excellence under uh, talent management. And my role has continued to grow and evolve um, over the last, what, eight, ten years or so where I've had the opportunity to make impacts in areas that I never thought uh, possible, whether it's through performance management, um, creating competency models that align to what Rhonda was talking about in terms of you know, professional development and growth to be able to create tools and resources that we provide to our employees that said, you know, how do I grow here? at T-Tech, what's available to me? You know, how do I ensure that I'm performing as I'm supposed to? How do I grow my skill set? How do I take advantage of um, all of the learning opportunities available to me uh, here? And then ultimately, if I'm doing uh, those things and making investments in myself and taking advantage of those resources, how can I then achieve my career aspirations uh, here at T-Tech. So that's what I love most here is I've, I'm able to do something different. Last year was, was very different um, in terms of what I was able to do. This year continues to be different and things that I'm able to uh, make an impact on and 
Uh, and what I would offer for anybody who's thinking about a career is like, you can do whatever you want. You There are so many opportunities available here. You can make an impact in, in a million different ways uh, in terms of um, your career aspirations um, and how you want to grow here at T-Tech. Absolutely. Thank you both for sharing your experience. I love that you both are able to take from your own experiences about career growth at T-Tech uh, to really highlight how that really is possible here. So Rhonda, back to you. I want to talk more about T-Tech talent. Uh, what makes it such a great resource both for prospective employees and for current employees? Yeah, absolutely. So first of all, and I think we've touched on it quite a bit or, or a little bit, but T-Tech talent is, you know, our one-stop shop for our employees for their learning, for their um, goal setting, performance management, career development, right? And, and just as, as, as early as last year, we had employees and managers who were having to log in to two separate systems um, in order to do their talent management um, tasks. And so we, uh, we would have to log in to uh, T-Tech University at the time to do our learning and we had to log into career point or, or another application to insert our goals to do our quarterly check-ins um, and to create professional development plans and so forth so it was a very disjointed experience for our employees and barbara and i recognized this and one of our primary goals of course is to create or was to create that exceptional employee experience when it comes to talent management and career growth and so we decided that we needed to create a business case and identify um, a platform and implement a platform and so um, the result of um, our our work and our team's um, uh, hard work and dedication was or and is T Tech Talent um, that that single platform that offers that exceptional talent management experience from end to end and. Um, I get so excited when I think about all of the things, all of the resources and the tools and capabilities that we have within the platform. So just to name a few really quickly that we have some of the resources that we have. And, and when I say resources, I'm talking about courses, micro learning modules, videos, um, live events, um, books, book summaries, et cetera. Anyway, but we have more than 1000 business professional and manager skills courses. We have over 2000 um, productivity and collaboration software, uh, test and uh, platform courses. Th these include practice labs. We have over 600 technology and developer courses and more than 100 courses in our digital transformation library. We also offer these curated competency based learning journeys that we call aspire journeys um, and these are uh, linear learning paths that help our employees uh, really master in a particular area through this um, dedicated learning path. Uh, we have business certification prep programs. So, for example, if I wanted to go out and earn my PMP certification instead of spending hundreds of dollars externally on a program to help me prep for that assessment. I can take the courses in T Tech Talent. Um, I can uh, take practice tests. I can even get um, mentorship um, support within the platform and um, prep myself to go out and then take that certification exam. Uh, we have certification prep programs for, like I said, PMP, uh, human resources, uh, ITIL, business analysts, Six Sigma. Um, and I think, Monica, you're... Uh, you're participating in one of those today, right? Yeah, I love that you mentioned the Six Sigma. I'm actually going through the Six Sigma Yellow Belt. I am super excited. It was definitely like a bucket list item for me. So when I saw that it was available to me, jumped on that opportunity. So thank you for highlighting all of those great programs Absolutely. available. Yep, um, yeah, so let's go to our second audience question. 
How important to you are the training options in your workplace? Is this something that you know is valuable to you? Is it something that you use? Let us know in the comments how important to you are the training options in your workplace. Obviously, I think they're super important and so do the members of the, uh, this panel. So uh, Barb, I'm gonna turn to you and ask you, um, you know, we love to share the stories of how employees grow to find new opportunities at T-Tech. Do you have any success stories from our training programs? Yeah, we have um, a, a ton. I shouldn't say a ton. So um, we have been sharing stories for the last several years because I know Rhonda and I can talk about it, but you, but we really think it's the power in the story that the individual wants to tell about their uh, journey here at T-Tech. So I know we've shared them through hashtag experience T-Tech. So um I think you, I, I believe you follow a hashtag or you search for a hashtag and um, see, you can see those stories again, for those of you who aren't uh, part of T-Tech today, or if you are uh, an employee in T-Tech, you can uh, seek out those stories on our performance or on our mosaics uh, page under career mobility. Um, but we reach out to individuals and ask them to share, whether that's through, you know, um, storytelling or a video and it uh, just so happens that we're working on our current story, which we hope to post uh, soon about an individual who started back in uh, 2019 um, at T-TAC. And what he his story is about how he started as an associate, yet the, the um, environment that he started in allowed him to continue his schoolwork and uh, um, complete that uh, while working here at T-TAC, but to also supplement that um, his um, school journey through T-TAC talent by taking advantage of the courses that uh, we have available and that Rhonda had highlighted. He aspired to grow his career in marketing and uh, wanted to see where there were opportunities to grow here at T-TAC in that uh, discipline. So continue to perform as he should in his role to get coaching from his manager in terms of what he could do to grow his skill set. He also uh, has made the recommendation that employees really know and understand what that process is regarding career mobility. So really educate yourself um, in terms of our process. How are you eligible? When are you eligible? How do you learn about new opportunities that are available here today for employees? So to really educate yourself on the process. So when that um, opportunity becomes available, um, that you know and understand what those opportunities are and what the qualifications are for those. So he was able to, to um, uh, uh, find an opportunity here at TTAC. He is in that role now. And he says what he would want to pass on to anybody seeking opportunities is to really take advantage of all of the resources available to take ownership of your individual journey and career uh, to seek out those opportunities, take advantage of the resources, meet with your leader and um, to talk about career aspirations and then to ultimately um, seek out that that opportunity as it becomes available. And I love, I'm, I'm going to kind of turn my head and read because he feels that what he appreciates most about T-TAC is that it has also afforded him the opportunity to achieve his goals in life, right? So part of those is, you know, the financial rewards that you get by progressing in your career. Um, he's been able to finish his work as a student. He's been able to travel um, and he has uh, aspired to achieve some things like a home ownership. And he's been able to do that in the, his three-year journey here at T-TAC. So that's a cool story. It's not published yet. We're working on that. Uh, we'll make that available. But we encourage you to go out and look for uh, those career stories that we have posted. Um, because, again, you want to learn from them. How did they grow their career? What steps did they take? Um, can you do some of what uh, uh, has been shared or what's your own journey? Because we would also like to hear from you. Um, and because that's part of our like, how do you find those people who has a story to tell? And we'd love to hear from employees uh, in terms of their journey as well. So not just the ones that we form that we find in post, but would love to hear from you directly what your story is here at T-Tech. 
Well, thank you for that. And I love the call to action. So for TSEC employees, make sure you let Barb and her team know about your success story. Thank you both for talking about all the opportunities to grow your careers at TTEC and for talking about how really there's so many endless possibilities for everyone. So thank you both for your time. Absolutely. Thank, thank you. Thank you. It was great. Thank you for the invitation. We really appreciate it. All right. Bye. Thank you. Bye, Bye guys. <laughs> Now, switching gears a little bit every week uh, here at The Talent Show, we like to highlight current opportunities at T-Tech. So I'm going to talk about two in particular. And as always, the first step is going to ttechjobs.com to either enter by keyword search or by your country, and then you can search for opportunities in your area. Now, the first opportunity that I want to highlight is this customer service representative insurance agent trainee in Kansas City, Kansas. This opportunity is 100% percent remote, but you must be within 60 miles of Kansas City. It is $17 per hour. As you learn, once you receive your license, you receive an increase to the base wage as you enter production in the program and the potential for a healthcare season completion bonus. On a typical day in this role, you'll be taking inbound calls to answer questions from customers about property and casualty insurance. There's no cold calling, but it does require an ability to understand the member's life events in order to provide additional opportunities to meet their needs and facilitate their financial security. And as always with all T-Tech opportunities, you must be able to deliver amazing customer experiences. And then the other opportunity that we want to talk about, we're going uh, across the pond over to Athens. Athens, Greece, and we're looking for a bilingual team lead uh, for German and English speakers. Now for this opportunity, you must be able to achieve 100% of assigned goals for the team. You'll be managing day-to-day -day operations, processes, and reporting, and you'll also be expected to provide leadership, engagement, performance management, communication, and development of the staff. The basic qualifications for this role include a strong understanding of T-Tech's business, our core values and our goals, strong verbal and written communication skills, both in English and German. That is, you must be proficient in both in written uh, and verbal skills and an ability, an ability to lead and collaborate successfully with staff and chain of command. So go to ttechjobs.com, check out those opportunities and all of the other ones that we have available. Now, that's it for our show. I hope you enjoyed the talent show powered by T-Tech because T-Tech is powered by our talent. I want to take a moment to thank our guests again, Rhonda and Barb, as well as everyone who works to make this show possible, both behind the scenes and throughout the company. And of course, everyone who came out to spend a little time with us today. We'll see you again in two weeks on August 19th. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>